Hi there, and welcome to this video about upgrading from classic dialogues to modern SharePoint framework dialogue framework. Just to set the context, in the SharePoint admin model, you were able to create dialog windows using the sp.ui.modaldialog or using the sp.ui.star types. In the modern development world with SharePoint Framework, you can rely on the SharePoint Framework Dialog Framework, which is based on React components that you can customize and create of your own, and which allows you to create also nested dialogues with the parent-child relationship, and it will allow you to rely on the out-of-the-box Fluent UI and Microsoft Graph Toolkit React components provided by Microsoft. In order to upgrade from the classic dialogues to the modern dialogues of SharePoint Framework, you will have to create a new solution and you will have to rely on a new web part or extension in that modern solution. Then you will also need to add a reference to the NPM package of the SharePoint Framework dialogue framework, which is called at Microsoft slash sp dialog. Once you have imported that package in your solution, you can simply implement a React component to provide the actual implementation of your dialogue window, and then you can show it on the screen. Just to give you an idea, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. Imagine that you want to create a dialogue inside the SharePoint Framework solution. Here you can see a sample web part that you can use uh, to test the behavior I'm talking about. So we have a button, we can click on the button and we see a dialogue window through which we can provide some information like uh, a description for an hypothetical task that we want to create and a date and time uh, that the task will be due to. So we can click on the create task and we will get back a feedback about what the user selected. So let's see how we can implement such kind of solution with SharePoint Framework. First of all, you need to create a SharePoint Framework solution. And in order to do that, you can find detailed information in the article associated with this video. Once you will have scaffolded the SharePoint Framework solution, you will need to install the NPM package of at Microsoft slash SP dialog, which is the one that includes all of the artifacts and all of the types to uh, work with the uh, SharePoint framework dialog framework. Once you have done that, you can, for example, rely on React like I'm doing in this web part. So here I have a web part a very basic one. And in the render method of this web part, we create an instance of a show dialog React component that we have in our solution. And that of course you will find associated with the article and the video you're watching. In the show dialog TSX component, which is just a React component, in the render method, we have a primary button of Fluent UI, which is the one that will show the actual dialog through the create task function. In the underscore create task function, which is an asynchronous one, we simply create a new instance of a task dialog, providing some uh, information, some settings through the constructor of the dialog, and then we say show, uh, which is a method provided by the dialog that we have implemented. The task dialog is the actual interesting part of this video. In fact, the task dialog is yet another React component as you can see from the .tsx extension, and we have a task dialog which extends the base dialog type provided by the uh, SharePoint framework, dialog framework. In this one, we have a constructor where we configure what to do on save and what to do on close without saving, as well as we set through the super constructor that this will be a blocking dialog. Then in the render method of this dialog, we simply render the task dialog content component, which is still defined within the same source code file. And we have additional uh, functions defined in this uh, task dialog component in order to handle the save and the close event. In the save, we will call the close method provided by the user creating the uh, dialog, the task dialog control, and then we say on save while on close, we still close the dialog and then we say on close to notify the uh, React component about the closing of the dialog. 
What is really interesting now is to see how the task dialog content is defined. Well, the task dialog content is just a simple React component uh, with a set of custom properties and state. In the custom properties, we simply have the definition of the onSave and onClose methods. In the onSave, for the sake of making an example, we have the description and the due date selected by the user. In the onClose, we don't have any input argument. And in this state, we simply keep track of the information provided by the user through the UI. So that in the constructor of the task dialog content, we initialize the state. Then in the render method, we use a dialog content component, which is provided by Fluent UI. And this component allows us to define a title and what to do on this missile of the dialog content. Then we have the actual body of the dialog content and we have a dialog footer, which is still, and again, a Fluent UI component, which will define the rendering of the lower part of the dialog window. In the lower part, we will have the default button to cancel and the primary button to save to create a task. On cancel, we will trigger the onClose property of the dialog content component, while on uh, clicking on the primary button, we will trigger asynchronously the onSave method, providing the selected description and due date selected by the user. In the body of the uh, dialog content, we just have uh, some Fluent UI components like the text field and the date picker field to build the UI that you have just seen in the SharePoint online UI. By doing that, and thanks to the fact that the base dialog type already provides methods to show or to hide a dialog, we can really easily render a dialog and show a dialog, a blocking one in this scenario, through the UI of SharePoint Framework in our modern solution. Here you can find additional links if you want to dig into the topics that we covered. And like always, thank you for watching this video.